Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. After discussing the topic on how to divide polynomials by long division, it is important for us to know also how to divide polynomials by synthetic division. Most of the students find synthetic division a lot easier compared to long division. So ang target natin ngayon is ituro ko sa inyo yung step-by-step -step process on how to do it. Without further ado, let's do this topic. So ang first step natin is to get your divisor, x minus 3. Remember, eh, this is your divisor and this is your dividend. Okay? Unang step natin is to get your divisor, which is x minus 3. I-equate mo lang by 0. Again, x minus 3. I-equate mo 0 or equal kay 0. Then solve for x. Transpose natin sa kabila. That will give you x is equal to 3. Para saan yan? Yan yung nilagay natin dito. You have here 3. Then after that, kunin mo yung coefficients ng iyong dividend. You have here 2, negative 5, negative 8, and 15. So, another thing pala na kailangan yung tignan is kung yung, yung inyong divisor ay naka-standard form. What do I mean by standard form? Dapat yung maunang term ay yung term na merong variable with the highest exponent. So, sa ating dividend, okay naman. We have 2x cubed sa first term natin. So, kunin natin yung 2. You need to put here 2. Then after that, you have negative 5 followed by negative 8 and 15. So, maglagay tayo dito ng line. Okay, yung setup natin. What is the first step? Bring down muna natin yung unang coefficients which is 2. Then right after that, you will be multiplying these two numbers. 3 times 2, that will give you 6. Saan natin ngayon nalagay yung 6 dito natin nalagay? Okay? Ulitin ko lang yung step natin ha. Eh. Una, yung unang coefficient na 2, bring down lang natin. Then after that, you multiply natin itong dalawang to, 3 times 2. That is, 6. So, para magkaroon ka ng next number dito, you will be adding these two numbers. Negative 5 plus 6, that will give you 1. At itong dalawa namang ito, ang kailangan i-multiply. 3 times 1, that is, 3. Then, all you need to do is to add these numbers. Negative 8 plus 3, that will give you negative 5. And then after that, ito namang negative 5 sa ka 3 ang kailangan yung multiply. Negative 5 times 3, that is negative 15. Okay? Tama ba? Add mo tong dalawang to, negative, sorry, 15 plus negative 15, that is 0. So hindi pa tayo tapos kasi hindi pa yung answer natin. So ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin is kailangan nating i-express itong sagot natin algebraically with the variables. So, tuturo ko sa inyo yun na yung steps, ha? Kasi marami nagkakamali. Una, pansinin nyo na ang dividend mo ng highest exponent niya ay 3 or cube. Ibig sabihin, standard to, ha? Sa so, makukuha mo sagot, since nagstim lang yung dividend by the exponent of 3 or cube, Dapat, ang iyong magiging quotient ay magsisimula sa x squared. Na kung saan, kung mapansin mo, from 3 naging x squared. Mag-subtract ka lang ng 1 sa exponent ng given dividend. So ito, magiging 2x squared. Ito, magiging plus 1x. But instead of writing 1x, Kahit x, okay lang yan. Ito naman, since we are done with 2, 1, so next na natin ay yung negative 5, x raised to 0, pero hindi mo na kailangan isulat kung 0 kasi 1 lang yan. 
So, I hope na naku- paano natin ginawa uli yan. Ulitin ko lang ha, papakita ko sa inyo ng step by step. Bakit siya naging 2x squared? Kasi, kung iyong dividend ay nag-start sa 3, or sa cube, yung iyong quotient, dapat ang exponent ng variable niya ay magsisimula sa 2, minus 1 lang. Minus 1 lang yung exponent. So, this will become 2x squared. Ito naman, plus 1x, pero kailangan na burahin yung 1. And ito naman, this is minus 5. This is the correct answer, or this is the quotient, when you divide 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 8x plus 15 by x minus 3. So I hope na sa first example natin, ay natutunan nyo agad kung paano mag-divide ang polynomials gamit ang synthetic division. Now, let's have here example number 2. First step natin is to get your divisor and equate natin by 0. That will be x plus 4 is equal to 0. Solve natin yung x. So you have x is equal to negative 4. So ilalagyan natin dito yung negative 4. Negative 4. And then, lagyan natin ng box dito. Half box. Hindi ko lang tawag dyan. And then, get the coefficient of your dividend. But, as you can see, yung ating dividend is quite different kasi wala tayong x squared. So, paano ngayon yun, sir? So, ganito yung magiging technique dito. Again, ha, wala yung ating term na merong x squared. So, magiging x squared yan. x cubed plus 0 x squared minus 13x plus 12. So, that we can get the coefficients of those terms. Yung x cubed nyo, ang kanyang coefficient ay 1. 1 yan yun dito. Then, kunin yung coefficient ng ayong x squared, which is 0. Ganyan yung ginagawa kapag mayroong term na nawawala. Ginagawa ang 0. Then, minus 13, tapos plus 12. Lagyan natin yung line dito. Okay na yung setup natin. So, first step natin, i-bring down natin yung 1. After that, multiply these numbers. Ulitin ko lang. Bring down natin yung 1 dito. So you have 1. Then multiply the two numbers. Negative 4 times 1. That will give you negative 4. Tapos i-add mo na itong dalawang ito. So you have 0 plus negative 4. That will give you negative 4. Then after that, multiply these numbers. Negative 4 times negative 4, that is 16. Add these numbers, that will give you 3. After that, negative 4 times 3, negative 4 times 3, that will give you how many? That will give you negative 12. At kapag inad mo silang dalawa, that is 0. It's time for you to rewrite your quotient algebraically with, or with variables. So, paano ngayon yan? Pansinin nyo na ang inyong dividend ay nag-start sa 3. Again, nag-start siya sa 3. Therefore, yung quotient natin ay mag-start tayo sa variable na exponent ay 2. So, you have here, it will become 1x square. Pero, kahit wala na yung 1, okay lang. Kasi invisible 1 naman talaga. This 1 naman, you have minus 4, then x. Ito naman, magiging constant na lang, magiging plus 3. Itong 0, wala na yan. Because wala na remainder. So this is the quotient. Ibig sabihin, when you divide x cubed minus 13x plus 12 by x plus 4, that is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. So I hope na given yung two examples natin, you have already know or master how to divide polynomials using synthetic division. And again, if bago ka lang si YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page 
So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page. And I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.